If there was a contest for knife companies that created their own versions of the Benchmade bug out here, I'm talking about like with a trophy and everything for the best one, this Kershaw heist, oh, it would definitely be in the running. Heck, it might even win. Hey guys, I'm Jay. Thanks for stopping by. Up on the screen, I got some specs for you. They're all measurements. I went ahead and I took them myself, but I'll also list them for you, you know, down in the description, along with those links to buy and the coupon codes. There's a few quick uh, size comparisons, just so you can get a better idea of the true size of knife we're working with today. So first, here it is next to the uh, Delica 4. And then, of course, the Benchmade bug out. I'm actually really excited about this knife because, well, it feels like it's been a minute since I've been able to say that about a Kershaw. I'm going to go ahead and assume that you have already heard of the super lightweight, very thin Benchmade bug out by now. If not, man, I, I don't know what to tell you. Now, the heist is also a lightweight knife with a very thin handle, thin blade. It also has a crossbar lock that functions exactly like Benchmade's axis. There are so many similarities here, well, like the uh, three and a quarter inch blade length and the, uh, the thickness of that blade, which believe it or not, it's actually a hair thinner than the bug outs. I wish I could say the same about the handle because unfortunately it is just a, uh, it's a smidge thicker, but man, it is, it's not by much at all. The heist is one of a few new releases from Kershaw that uh, features their new Duralock. It also has Omega Springs and a blade that's riding on bronze washers with really good out-of-box action. And it really only took just like a few of these like open-close cycles, you know, for it to start loosening up. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not like sh super drop shutty just yet, but I am, I'm really confident that it will be soon the more that you, uh, you know, fidget with it. I mentioned that the heist here is um, lightweight. It is, it's about an ounce heavier than, than the bug out, but the heist has full steel nested liners that really makes it just feel solid, more rigid. We get some GFN handle scales with a raised texture that uh, gives it some great traction and you do not have to worry about this thing slipping out of your hands. That does affect though how it like slides in and out of the pocket. I mean, I'm not saying it's difficult at all to do, but I did just notice a little bit of friction. I don't know, maybe a flat spot under the uh, the pocket clip would have helped, but hey, you know, that's just me kind of nitpicking now. Oh, and as long as we're talking about it, that clip does have, it does have uh, two positions, which makes this knife, because of the uh, the lock, completely ambidextrous. So what do you think about this uh, this this blade shape here? I, I like it. I mean, I think it it's a good looking drop point. And it kind of reminds me of like the blade on the Freak or or that Ritter Hogue. As you can see, there's no like forward finger choil, just a very large sharpening choil that, you know, you could, I guess you could kind of use it to choke up. I probably wouldn't do that though, you know, unless you knock that that corner off on the blade with a little bit of sandpaper first. It's got a very nice uh, factory edge on it that is, oh yeah, that is completely even on both sides. Just like the bug out, there's no jimping on the, the blade spine. It's only on, on the handle there. Yeah, the exact same spot right up at the top. One common issue that I've noticed with these slimmer knives is, well, it's going to be that blade centering because of the shorter pivot screws. You know, there is just, there's never really not much room for adjustment. I mean, it, it really gives you a tough decision to make. I mean, do you over tighten the pivot and live with the bad action or, you know, do you leave it off center for the sake of that uh, fidget factor? But if you take a look, yeah, mine came from the factory with almost, look at that, almost perfect centering and zero blade play in any direction. Now, I'm not one of those people that looks down on D2 steel. I think it's a, it's a decent budget material, you know, with good edge retention. Now you're more than welcome to disagree, but I think it's uh, I think it might be time for Kershaw to I don't know, move on from it, especially at this price point, which we'll get to here in a second. I'm not saying that they should have gone with like S30V, like what the bug out has, but you know, come on, it's it's 2023. I mean, even CRKT and Gerber are playing around with better blade steels. I mean, Kershaw they're able to sell 
like their launch series automatic knives for what a little over a hundred bucks and you know those are uh, usa made with cpm 154 steel blades i sure wouldn't mind seeing the heist with maybe a i don't know 14c 28n sandvik nitro v or heck even 154 cm steel you know civivi and kaiser are using some of those aforementioned steels and they seem to have no problem selling their stuff at competitive prices. Now, I picked this up on Amazon for about 60 bucks, which, you know, I guess is okay. You know, it's definitely not a bargain. I sure would. I'd feel a lot better about this at 50. Then again, Kershaw's never really been known for, you know, having the lowest of prices out there. But I do like the, I really like the direction that they're headed in with this new uh, Duralock. You know, they could have easily, they could have easily made this like a speed safe assisted opening knife, you know, with the same price tag and just kind of called it a day. But hey, they didn't. Even though the, the price, I guess, yeah, it's kind of meh, but I do... I do love everything else, like, well, the size, the blade, uh, the the action, the lock, even the pocket clip, heck, the smell, the taste, all of it. You know what? I can honestly say that this, uh, this Kershaw heist here, oh yeah, it's now on my list of favorite bug out alternatives. Oh, and don't forget now, if you're interested in picking up the heist, I got a link to buy down in the description for you. And right about now, there's a video up on the screen that I personally picked out for you to go ahead and watch next. And hey, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. If you're looking for knife reviews, then get right to the point. All right, hey, I gotta run, but thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.